Betty, so it's soup week on All In, and together we're going to make one of my favorites. It's a creamy roasted red pepper soup. It's dairy free for those of you that need it, but even if you enjoy dairy, I think you're going to love this thing. Here's a bowl of the finished product right here. It's really easy. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to set your oven to 400 degrees, and then check out this sheet pan right here. This is just fresh cauliflower that I've rinsed and dried, cut into florets. I just dried it with a paper towel. Then on top of that, I am going to just scatter a sweet onion, roughly chopped, nothing fancy smancy, on this baking sheet. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil, whatever you got on hand will work. And then a few seasonings. Now we want a little bit of kosher salt, about a half teaspoon of that. Some paprika, a whole teaspoon. This gives it the gorgeous color and it has a good smoky flavor. And then fresh rosemary. You can chop up the rosemary sometimes if I'm in a hurry. I just like to take that woodsy stem, peel it back, and then toss, just, you know, kind of sprinkle it all over. It gives it this deep woodsy aroma and flavor. It is like a spoonful of fall once we get done with this. And then mm -hmm. what you're going to do is grate some garlic. I do two cloves of garlic. And after I've done this, I toss the whole thing together. Keep all those veggies in a single layer. You're going to cook that at 400 for 40, 40 minutes, okay? Mm. No less because did you try an onion fill? I tried a um, cauliflower. Cauliflower. If you if you think you don't like cauliflower and you've never had it roasted like this, oh, it's good. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I promise you, and especially onion. I can't get over onion. It's like my favorite ingredient. All right, so you've got that all roasted. Right. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a jar of roasted red bell pepper. They've done the work for you. So all you have to do is take that jar, put it in a blender. Nice. Okay. Roasted red pepper. If you get mm -hmm. some of the liquid in there, that's fine. And then about a cup and a half of the cauliflower. An onion mixture. Yeah. Okay, I know you're wondering what's going on. This is all going to come together here in just a second. And then a few cups of either chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever okay. you've got on hand. If you're feeding vegans and vegetarians, use vegetable broth by all means. Um, if not, you can use chicken broth if that's what you've got on hand. Okay, so at this point, you are going to blend. And we want to make sure and put the top on so it doesn't explode. Hold up just a second. There we go. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, I won't bore you with blending it all, all the way, but you get the idea. Yes. So from here, warm this soup. I add the rest of the cauliflower and onion into it, so it's kind of chunky. Okay. It is. All right, Phil, I've got it finished oh for boy. you right there. Okay. All right. Take a bite. You think I'm gonna? Let get... me know okay. how it is. Don't don't spill it okay. all over yourself. But orange does go with, well with blue. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys, it mm. is, like I said, spoonfuls of fall. It's oh, creamy, great. it's delicious, it's packed with flavor. Oh, I love it. And best thing, it's good for you. Like, a cup is 100 calories. Is that it? it? Oh, that's it. Mm. That's it, and it's got the rosemary, onion. Can't go wrong with that. Delicious stuff. It there is absolutely delicious. No, no doubt about that.